I didn't give up. I just got louder. Does anyone know where I can find an inn? Yelling at complete strangers, letting go of any sort of shred of dignity I might have once had. Man, I definitely felt like a freak. But it turns out, that's what it takes to get the other freak's attention. So after I was yelling, some people turned around like they actually heard me for once. It's like, do you? So I do get the other freak's attention. And this unscrupulous looking guy by the name, oh, that at least goes by the name of Moses, uh, runs over and he's like, what do you want? Want? And I'm like, uh, I'm looking for a hotel. And he's like, I love that lady. And so I'm like, do you know where one is? I need a place to stay and nobody around here seems to know. Moses decides he's done with me and I kind of stand there um, mentally debating whether to even ask the woman who seems nice enough but is wearing a uh, Halloween mask. Um, uh, I decided to ask an old bald guy instead. And uh, the guy from earlier that uh, can't seem to uh, control the volume of his voice who doesn't really want to be in a conversation, but as soon as I'm talking to somebody else, doesn't mind uh, butting in, uh, comes running up and he's like, hi! So I'm like, hi. And he's like, how I dance like South Park! And I'm like, so you happen to know where the nearest inn is? And he's like, in? And uh, someone else that's actually kind of helpful uh, is like, Goldshire. And I'm like, oh, hotel? And he's like, Oh, so the loud guy's like, HOTEL! And I'm like, Goldshire, you know, got it. But the loud guy's still like, HOLD! And I'm like, okay, thanks, because I'm really talking to the first guy to actually answer my question. But, uh, the loud guy's like, OH! WHERE AT?! And the loud guy's not getting that I'm not really talking to him anymore. I'm talking to the bald guy that I actually started the conversation with, and who is actually answering my question. Uh, so... I'm like, oh, which direction should I go? And the woman that was wearing the Halloween mask earlier uh, comes up and points me in the right direction. It turns out she's actually a nice, friendly, not crazy stranger on the street. And uh, I probably should have just asked her in the first place. I'm like, this way? Thanks. And I'm finally off, like, going to where I need to be. And that only took uh, the greater part of the day. And it was still a really long walk to Goldshire. <sighs> I had to take a break. And man, that path I was following went on forever. But uh, yeah, I just kept walking. So I made it to Goldshire, and it seemed like kind of a, a rough town. People were kind of fighting in the street, and uh, probably because there's nothing much to do. Just to make sure I'm in the right spot, I ask if this is Goldshire, but you know, given the, my current track record, I decided to go figure it out on my own. So I go and check the sign, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. And it reminds me of this time when I was trapped in Button Willow, and, uh, you know, Button Willow's got nothing, but at least there's a hotel. So uh, if you're stranded, at least you got a place to stay. Uh, so now it's just like check, tracking on the hotel that's here. So I'm like, I'm looking for a hotel, and I heard there's one in Goldshire. And this guy's like to your left, you know, unusually helpful. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good at this point, so I take off to my left, and it seems to be kind of a butcher shop, unfortunately. Um, but then the guy's like, to your other left, so I turn around, and right across the street's uh, the inn. So I'm like, thanks. Of course, there's an obligatory uh, skeleton uh, in front of the doorway. And at that point, I decided, you know, it's better to just let it slide. I think I learned my lesson about Halloween prejudice and so I get in the hotel, and this guy named Farley, who I guess runs the place, asks me. Looking for something specific? He's generally jolly. Have a good one. I say I'd like to stay for a while, and he seems generally okay with that. We don't really talk about money, so I guess I pay when we check out, and I assume he takes credit cards, but there's a good chance he doesn't, so next few days I gotta figure out how to get some cash. Anyway, all this is going through my head while I run upstairs. But I'm just really glad I'm here finally. And uh, I don't even know which room is mine. Uh, so I go through it. Oh, the first, I want under one, and some guy's already there, so I'm like, sorry. Uh, so I walk next door, and this one seems free. I guess that's how they do that here, kind of laid back. So yeah, and that was my first day here. Looking back at it, it actually wasn't too bad. Um, 
the room I got was pretty sweet, so I was like, nice. At the time, I was thinking, that was one long freaking day. But, compared to <laughs> uh, the days that followed, uh, yeah, actually, that was a pretty reasonable day. That was fine. I was just really tired. And so, so I was so glad to finally lay down, get some rest, and all my other problems uh, kind of just floated away. I was ready to hit the hay. I could deal with all that in the morning. There was a time uh, when I felt like uh, giving up, and usually I do, because it's easier. But in this case, it wouldn't have been easier. It would have really sucked.